Texas is here. You look like your dog. Lots of folks do. Cause you choose what you like. And the like cutest costume. The most original. Do you have the same hairstyle? Same look in you want? Do you look like your dog? You might as well bark. <laughs> now my friend Dallas, she got a setter with her long red hair. They match to the letter. <laughs> do you look like your dog? Lots of folks do. Cause you choose what you like. And like what you choose Do you have the same hairstyle? Same look and walk <laughs> Do you look like your dog? You might as well walk <laughs> Take tough Johnny B Bought a pit bull mutt both attack on a dime. So watch your butt. As for sweet Eloise, she sure looks like her Yorkie. Has short, fizzy brown hair. And she's oh so perky. Do you look like your dog? Lots of folks do Cause you choose what you like And like what you choose Do you have the same hairstyle Same look and wall Do you look like your dog You might as well walk yeah, I like to move it. Do you look like your dog at the fashion show? That's the official name. And I know some people don't look exactly like their dog, but they're exactly like their dog in spirit, in yeah. color, in clothing. It just It's all about just being like your dog. Welcome, one and all. We're awfully glad you're here. This is my little contribution to today's show. This is Izzy. <laughs> And I do look like my dog. Yeah, I exactly. look like my dog if you look at it sideways. I look like my dog if you look at my roots. So other than that, this is Izzy, and I'm really glad she's here. You see the big banner up here? It says United Media Productions, creating a collaboration for a better world. This is a nonprofit organization that we are a part of helping underserved youth in Berkeley, Oakland, and Richmond. And our founders are here. First of all, in the back there. Hold up your hand, Jenny. And she's also just published a book, so you might want to stop by her table and check that out. The other person I'd like to introduce you to is wearing the beautiful yellow scarf. Her name is Stephanie Slade, and she is the other co-founder. I'd like to thank Kelly for opening up her place and allowing us to have this wonderful day to come together. Hi, my name's Kelly Danielson. I'm the owner of Pride and Pedigree Dog Daycare Boarding and Training in downtown Oakland. I opened this business four years ago because I love dogs and I wanted to have a facility that I felt would be comfortable for me to leave my dogs in. I didn't feel that a uh, need was being served for a smaller, more intimate facility, so Pride and Pedigree was created. We specialize in boarding and training of small dogs in particular, and also we do daycare for dogs of all sizes. Please come check us out. We're in downtown Oakland at 437 25th Street in Oakland, California. <laughs> so Mickey, back to you. So let's see, our first judge is Lee Richter, the CEO of Montclair Veterinary Hospital right here in Oakland. Yay. And yeah, give her a hand. He's also launching a new holistic veterinary care center on Piedmont Avenue. Each year they donate more than $100,000 in services to pets and wildlife in need in the Bay Area. 
Judge number two, Barbara Dexter. She's the co-founder of the Unity Peace Film Project and is also co-host of Expressions of Peace Television. She's a collaborator and creator of the Wrap Yourself in Peace Quilt. And it is an experienced corporate gift givings non-profit expert. Judge number three, I like to say her name slowly. <laughs> it's the Reverend Dr. Patricia Keel. She's the minister of the Unity of Berkeley, which is a, a spiritual community located on a holy hill. And again, website, unityberkeley.org. Yes. yes, I'm so happy to be here. And it's the fun thing is I've been preaching judge not, lest ye be judged for three weeks. <laughs> so how's that going to make me a great judge, I think? It's perfect with kids and animals. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Steph, and Sharon, and Gina for organizing this. We're going to start out now. So I'm going to call out your name, let's have you come on over here. We have the best look-alike, the funniest costume, the cutest costume, the most original, the most personality, and we also have our audience favorite. So there's a lot of different categories that all of you can compete in, so feel free just just be as cute as you can. Melissa and Kai, right here. Kai is a Pomeranian, is actually studying to be a future therapy dog. Oh. <laughs> so one of you may be in the hospital and maybe bring in Kai. Yes, very nice. Very good, Melissa and Kai. Evelyn, Evelyn and Copper Comet. We just say CC. And it's very excitable. Now Copper Comet got the name because maybe split that leash goes on So there's another clue, the golden dog, Zola. And Tsar, his name in Russian means knight. And she was saying that he can hunt down foxes like nobody. And is a real good protector at night. All right, thank you. Aubrey and Anjuli and Zola and Tsar. Now they call him a German wirehead pointer. And so it's quite a sight. <laughs> He's hunting, right? <laughs> And they're matching outfits there, and, they have, and that's the feather, the pheasant, is a, a new acquisition. Thank you for being here. Good job, Bear. There you go. Uh, this is Nancy and Ricardo in their Santa Ensemble. Ricardo is a little silk shire terrier. So give a hand for Ricardo and Nancy. All right, Rami and Pepper. A Portuguese water dog, of course. So this is Pepper. Water dogs, they love water and of course treats. Ah! Thank, you. Thank you. So there you go. Ronnie and Pepper. Wait, 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 I think we have a late oh, entry. One more entry. Shuggy. The entry. Shuggy, who is a fuzzy little dog. What's the breed? Well, he was a rescue guy, so oh. we think he's half poodle, half Tibetan terrier, which would make him a toodle. A toodle, so and, and again, again. Shuggy the toodle. Harness. Shuggy. <laughs> Very fashionable. Those toodles are quite talented. And then back this way, there's Toodle. Oh. Uh, he spent probably half of his life in training. Um, but uh, they go out into the fields, you know, where there's a lot of brush and the pheasants. Uh, uh, he smells the pheasant and he points when he smells them and he freezes his point and then um, the bird is flushed and the bird is shot and then he goes and retrieves the pheasant. So these feathers that you see in our hats today, these are from pheasants that he got yesterday. Here come the judge, Barbara Dexter, the rector, and Reverend Dr. Patricia who will be blessing all the dogs after yeah, she well, judges them. Now, we want to start with some uh, honorable mentions because we didn't have awards for everyone, but we did want to make sure 
that we were able to recognize everyone here. Uh, this is Ronnie and Pepper. They're the best lookalikes without a costume. Wow. And we also want to uh, recognize Shuggy as our best jumper. Jump, 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 This little cutie pie is getting a treat as we speak. Melissa and Kai, come up and get your certificate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Funniest costume. Evelyn, we love that. She's funny, all right. She's full of tricks. More fun than a girl on my monkey. Thank you.